Hi guys! Welcome to another series. This is going to be a tutorial about basic Japanese words and grammar based from the Minano Nihongo textbook. This is for the absolute beginners or for those who want to review their Japanese. This is also the textbook I used when I first started learning Nihongo a long time ago. Although I am not yet 100% fluent, I can speak and communicate using basic Japanese. I only attended Japanese language school for about 3 months, so pretty much I've learned Japanese or Nihongo through self-study and getting used to talking and listening to Japanese at work. Like I said, if you are an absolute beginner who is interested in learning Nihongo, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. That's Japanese for let's begin. This is Mina no Nihongo Lesson 1 Vocabulary. Watashi. Watashi. Other words to say watashi are ore or boku, which men generally use. Another word is atashi, used by females to sound more feminine or cute. And the very formal way of saying watashi is watakshi, which you will hear um, usually in a very formal setting or situation. Watashi tachi. Watashi tachi. Anata. Anata. I noticed that when you're not very close to someone you're talking to, you don't address them directly as anata or you, but instead you call them or address them by their name. So, for example, you want to ask, are you okay? Um, directly to the person you're talking to, you say, for example, that their name is um, Suzuki-san. So you say instead of, are you anata wa daijoubu desu ka? You say, Suzuki-san wa daijoubu desu ka? Are you okay, Mr. Suzuki? So just be very careful with using anata. Again, if you're not very close to someone, um, it's better to use or address them by their first name or last name followed by san instead of saying anata. Also, this word can also be used as a term of endearment. Sometimes wives would refer or call their husband anata. Anohito. Anohito. Or the more polite way of saying this is ano kata. Ano kata. Ano means that and hito means person. Minasan. Minasan. San. San. So this is the equivalent of Mr. Miss or Mrs. in English and it's just um, a way of showing respect to the person you're talking to. Chan. Chan. In general, it is used for babies, for example, Akachan or Risa Chan or young children or even grandparents like Oba Chan Oji Chan. But this can also be used among friends or lovers who've known each other for a long time. This just means that the speaker finds the other person cute or attractive or lovable. Kun. Kun. In general, it is used for young boys or young adult male or even among male friends. Jin. Jin. For example, a Filipino is Philippine Jin. An American is America Jin. And a Japanese person is Nihon Jin. And so on. Sensei. Sensei. Notice that we have a long vowel at the end, se, okay, sensei, kyoshi, kyoshi, again another long vowel, kyo, kyoshi. So um, the difference between sensei and kyoshi is that sensei is only um, referring to another teacher. So if you are going to introduce yourself and you want to say that you you are a teacher, you say, Watashi wa kyoshi desu. Gakusei. Gakusei. Notice how we, how we don't pronounce the U in the ku syllable. It becomes 
Gakse Kaisha in Kaisha in Kaisha means company and in means member Sha in Sha in Ginko in Ginko in Notice that the N syllable or N becomes NG sound because it is followed by a K or Ko. So it becomes Ginko. Ginko in. Ginko means bank and in again means member. Isha. Isha. Kenkyusha. Kenkyusha. Engineer, engineer. Daigaku, daigaku. Byoin, byoin. Denki, denki. Dare, dare. Or the more polite way is donata, donata. Sai, sai. For example, five years old is go sai, and thirty years old is sanju sai. Nan sai, nan sai. Or the more polite way is oikutsu, oikutsu. Hai, hai. Iye. E. So, I'll make sure that you extend the E syllable. E. E. Shitsurei desu ga. Shitsurei desu ga. Or, shitsurei desu ga. So, the ga syllable can also be pronounced as ga. So, whether you pronounce it as ga or ga is just a personal preference. Shitsurei desu ga. Shitsurei desu ga. Onamaewa. Onamaewa. So the translation is, may I have your name? But this literally means, your name is, with a rising intonation. This is a casual or informal way of asking someone's name. Namae is the Japanese for name, and the prefix o makes it more polite. But if you are in a formal setting, it is best to say, Onamaewa. Nandeska, which means what's your name? Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. So this is the first phrase or an expression that you say when you're introducing yourself for the first time to someone. It means how do you do, but it is the literal translation is for the first time. So usually it goes like Hajime mashite. Watashi wa. Um, Dare dare this. So notice that the I in the she syllables become silent. Hajime mashite. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. The natural way of saying this is Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So this is a very formal expression usually used at the end of a self introduction. A less formal way of saying this is Dozo yoroshiku or just yoroshiku. This phrase actually has other meanings depending on the situation which you will learn later on. But for the meantime, this means pleased to meet you or please be nice to me. Kochira wa dare dare san desu. So dare dare is who. So I just replaced the, the blank part with dare dare so meaning you put in a name of someone there so this phrase is used when you are introducing someone to someone else for example kochira wa brad pitt san desu this is brad pitt doko doko kara kimashita doko is where so doko doko kara kimashita i came from or I'm from. So usually when you do self-introduction and you're a foreigner, you say you usually say this phrase. For example, I'm from the Philippines. 
フィリピンから来ました。or I'm from Japan. 日本から来ました。or I'm from America. アメリカから来ました。So here are some examples of how you pronounce a common countries in Japanese. アメリカ。アメリカ。イギリス。イギリス。インド。インド。インドネシア。インドネシア。韓国。韓国。タイ。タイ、ドイツ、ドイツ、フランス、フランス、ブラジル、ブラジル、日本、日本、フィリピン、フィリピン。Now let's review. Let's see how much you remember. わたしたちあなたあの人あの方みなさんさんちゃんくんじんせんせいきょうしがくせいかいしゃいんしゃいん銀行員医者研究者エンジニア大学病院電気誰どなたさい何歳おいくつはいいいえ失礼ですが名前ははじめましてどうぞよろしくお願いしますこちらは誰々さんですどこどこから来ましたアメリカイギリスインドインドネシア韓国タイドイツフランスブラジル、日本、フィリピン。For the grammar part of this lesson, click on to the next video. Bye!